hello all right i'm gonna tell her while you do, do the intro so hi everybody, everybody. <laughs> last time we did live we didn't say who we were and we didn't you know tell you anything about us so hi we're access hockey maybe we should wait for more people to come anyway maybe we're access hockey i'm janae she's rachel hi. uh we write about hockey we take photos of hockey we talk about hockey we live hockey we I'm are social media so we don't are worry. hockey we're not <laughs> That's okay. um, we are hockey. Today we're talking about um, two guys in specific first who were sent down to the Griffins from the Red Wings. That being Dennis Chalowski, he's a defenseman, and Martin Ferk, who is a forward. Um, we're talking about them and how they were sent down to the Griffins for development mm -hmm. to improve on their game and to um, develop them, essentially. <laughs> so <laughs> while you start with, um, was, we're going to talk about a little bit like what we have seen in seeing them play. Yeah. Also, their points, uh, we all know points are going to come. So, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the age-old debate. Everybody, sure I mean, Anybody you ask, like any player you ask, you're like, oh, your points are terrible. I mean, you don't say that, but they always tell you the points will come. They, I mean, if you focus on that, you're not going to. Yeah, you're exactly. just going to freak yourself out, hyper-focus. Um, so let me see. You'd let stuck a little note here. All right. So what am I talking about, Ferg? No, I don't. Ferg? Either, either well. One? Okay. I want to talk about Ferg. Um, Ferg, he was a huge favorite of the crowd um, when we won the Calder. But since his pull-up to, to the Wings this last season, he, had, he played only like 25 games or something like that. He wasn't getting a lot of ice time. And a lot of people can say that, well, if Blasha wasn't giving him a chance, Ferg wasn't producing when he was given the chance um let me see we said just last week um that a big thing about him is he's got that rocket shot but he's inconsistent yeah um and so i think a big part of him being sent down was to get his shot consistent yeah. because if you can't if you're used for one thing yeah well of course he wants to be everything yeah. as a forward and that's one improvement we have seen mm -hmm. to kind of segue a little bit is he in the last even few games has improved his overall ice play. He has, tenfold. yeah, he has improved his play. But I mean, again, like you said, the point, the points will come. He hasn't had the points to show it yet. Um, but with Grand Rapids, I think he's given a lot more responsibility because they're familiar with him there, because he knows the league and the coach knows and trusts him, and he can maneuver a little bit better. I think his his game right now, I don't. It, and, and don't hate me for saying this, but I don't see him going very far in the NHL. I don't know if the Wings will retain him. Not yet. But sure. he, he's been in development for a long time, ever since he went with from Carolina to us, and he has to work on that. I read a scouting report just a little bit ago that said that he – He's not good defensively. Like, those were the words. He is not good defensively, and he is not a strong skater. Um, I think he's improving his skating ability. I think so. Um, and, but his handling is really good, so he makes up with that, with that, makes up for any lack. And he does – um, currently he's played eight games with the Griffins this season, and he does have eight points. Um, he's gotten some really key goals, and he's gotten some really key assists, um, and he is making smarter plays on ice since the first game he played with us. You know, he's, kind of, he's getting – he's easing back into it. Um, and I think that that's really important for mm -hmm. Ferk. So next up is Cholowski, who was sent down. I was surprised by it. Personally, as far as I, like, no, he wasn't doing amazing things on the mm -hmm. Red Wings. In 52 games, he had 16 points. So far with the Griffins, he's got nine games and five points. Something we've heard said about Cholowski is that once he gets to the neutral zone, he doesn't know what to do. With the yeah, puck. he he seems to get like frozen in the neutral. And you kind of see it because stuck. you'll weird. get like a turnover and yeah. you'll get where, you know, he doesn't know where to pass to. Or he passes it back. He passes it right. back a lot. There's not a lot of, like, forward pre uh, pressure. I guess you could say his offensive mind is not quite there yet. Right. So that that was pretty surprising when they sent Cholo down. And everyone's like, oh, my gosh, Cholo's down. And he's – I think the AHL is a good place for him right now because he is getting that time. And I think that's kind of like the age-old debate, though, too, because if they get pulled up, how often are they actually getting ice? But know? the whole so. idea of having a farm system is development. Mm -hmm. So – and if you can get more ice time, that's a huge deal considering, um, you know, the Red Wings aren't going to do a playoff run this year mm -hmm. and he's getting his feet under him for when the Griffins do do their playoff run. Yeah. I mean, they are second in the, in the division right now. They have 16 games left um, and they're one point behind first mm -hmm. place, who is Chicago in our division. I think for, for Chalowski especially, he's never done a pro playoff. Ferg has several. Halifax, <laughs> yeah. He, he's had several pro playoffs with the AHL and um, in his juniors as well. But um, Chalowski has never experienced that grueling 
demand that the playoffs are. You're playing the same team for like a week and a half, two weeks, and night after night after night, tons of travel, a lot more back-to-back travel. So that's going to be a huge determining factor for him on how he develops and how quickly he develops and how well he actually performs yeah. when under that kind of pressure. Because when the Wings are ready to make a playoff push, it might not be for a few seasons, he's going to need to be able to reference that. Yeah, for sure. Um, a couple other guys that are a little more um, – Kind of you know, marks. well, no, you know who they are because they have played um, with the Red Wings. Is N mm-hmm. uh, Christopher N? He is a forward for. He was. He's played. Let me see here. He's played 14 games with the Griffins mm-hmm. and 46 games with the Red Wings. He has seven points in both leagues. Both of those leagues. Yeah. Um, and I think I know. I said it to you. There was one game where I was like, you know what? I never noticed him. Yeah. I just don't notice him on yeah. the ice, and that's a problem. If if you're doing something right. You should be noticed. Mm-hmm. And then there was a game. Yes. It was it was it was this past Wednesday. We played the Texas Stars, and he was doing amazing. And he ended up getting a goal that mm-hmm. night. And I believe he got an assist as well. So he is all of a sudden, I think, starting to wake up. Do you think maybe it's like a consistency thing for him where if he went from being kind of unnoticeable and maybe I don't know why exactly he was sent down. I mean, he's up again now, so he's he's definitely floating a lot this season, but I, I was not overly impressed with him when he was with Grand Rapids and I, I wasn't at Wednesday's game to see him, but there, there have been glimmers where it's like, wow, you know what? I think he's really getting it. And uh, do you think him floating so much has something to do with that? I'm or is sure. it just, it's just not clicking. He's having a hard time I'm, finding that I think consistency. floating can be something like that. But I think when you become a professional hockey player, you got to get, you get used, used to, you got to yeah. get used to that. I mean, you're going to play hard schedules and you're going to have, especially in the NHL, you're going to have a hard schedule more so mm-hmm. than the AHL. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's something he has to get used to if that is mm-hmm. a determining factor, but I'm glad if he does start to wake up now, better late than never. Yeah. And if he can stick in, be consistent. Yeah. And he'll have the playoff run too. And for those of you that are just joining us, we're talking about um, just the, the guys that have kind of been floating between Grand Rapids and, and the Red Wings and where we've seen their development so far. So like Dennis Chalowski, Marty Furk, we just talked about Christopher N um, and kind of next on, on the list is Philip Ronick. Yeah. Um, he's not going to be with Grand Rapids next season. I don't have anything to guarantee or confirm that, but just based on he play is, and yeah, he's been, he's been working his butt off and in 32 games with the Red Wings so far this season, he's got 16 points I in 28 he, games with Grand Rapids. He has 23 points. This kid, he's, he's defensive, but he's so offensive and aggressive in that way. He's very smart. So I don't think the Red Wings are going to send him back. He's got a consistent shot. He would be back with us for the 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 Cup playoffs. Um, So that's a huge, that's going to be huge. Right right now we're playing without um, a guy who, you know, you pass the puck to, he can get the puck in that. And that's a big confidence booster for a team, for sure. Especially a D-man. I mean, Mm -hmm. it's huge to have. With him though, he's been consistent. So mm-hmm. when he was sent down, so his rookie season, he did really, really well. Um, but when he was sent down a couple times this season, kind of floating back and forth, he took what he was told and he changed it. That's huge. And that's what they want to see. That's yeah. what the coaching staff wants to see. Even if the team itself isn't doing well, they want to see, okay, I've been given this thing list of things to do. I'm going to go well, fix it and, and be ready. And I read, um, Blashell basically said, you know what, you got to play like you don't belong. If you want to be called up to the Red Wings, so you want to be a Red Wing, you got to play at the Griffin Stadium. Yeah. If you don't belong there, like that guy's too elite. He yeah. has to get pulled, you know, like it's just, a, you, yeah. you can't stay stagnant mm-hmm. if you're super, yeah. you know, so good like Rona is. Yeah. With him, with him, I think, I think you're right. He will be back to the playoffs, but I do not think he's going to be with Grand Rapids next season. I think next season he will be a wing for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think he'll probably start there. He's, he's proven it. He's, he's, he's definitely he's consistent. He makes it, he plays like he does belong in the NHL. I yeah. think he makes smart plays. He doesn't get intimidated by the bigger guys. Um, and then we've got, let's see who's next on our tracking. Well, block. Rasmussen, um, kind of a question mark. I'm not sure if he would come down for the Griffins Calder cup run from the Red Wings. Um, he's played 56 games with the Red Wings and he's got 15 points. And then with the, with Grand Rapids, he was down because he got injured. And so yeah. he had a three game rehabilitation stint at two points. Um, he got two games. points. Yeah. And he was, he was big on the ice and yeah. he's good in front of the net. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do think that he's got a lot of promise. He does. Again, yeah. he's not someone that I'm, if anything, you notice him cause it's like, Oh, it's Rass, you know, he's yeah. in the Red Wings. Um, but other than that, I mean, he, I mean, uh, with the Red Wings, what do you see his play as being like, what's his strong suit? I think his strongest suit right now is probably his focus. He's, He's not. He's a, he's a good skater. Obviously, you have to be to be in the NHL, but he's he's really really focused. So when he's got the puck, he makes a decision on what to do with it, and he sticks with it and tries to make it happen. And I think that 
takes a lot of maturity and drive, especially when you've got so many defenders coming at you. Um, yeah. So I think he does a good job of using his body to his advantage too. And he's a big kid. I think yeah, you know, he's, he's six, six, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think he's very focused and he maintains his cool. So mm -hmm. he doesn't get frazzled or anything like that, which if you're making plays at the NHL level, mm -hmm. you I mean, you've got those players that they're, they're just kind of freaks of nature and they just kind of lose it and they somehow make things happen. Um, but I think that focus is really important. And yeah. I think that's, that's what sticks out to me. And I think that will translate into more points for him as yeah. he develops. And again, it's not about like the points will come. Yeah. You just have to focus on playing your game. You got to focus on, and they know this and fans know this too. It's just easy to look at points. It's and those, those cliches and, they use in interviews, yeah. you know, the 200 Two, foot game and all that. <laughs> um, again, we'll talk about Zadina too. Zadina was just pulled up. And if he plays, um, is he on his, let me see, he's played six games and he's got two points. So he got his first mm -hmm. NHL goal, which is a huge deal. <laughs> and then he got, um, of course, his first, his first assist. assist. I think that was what, last night? And he, he was on the assist. second line. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure if he stayed there all night. I didn't sure. watch the whole game. We were watching the Griffins game. We were watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think he is maturing as well. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, if he can, there's been a lot of talk or, you know, there is the talk where it's like, is he going to start the Red Wings next year? You know, because he's, proving himself so far on the Red Wings, which it's kind of hard to say if already he Since is. I game. think he's getting there. He'll get there. Uh -huh. But I do think it depends hugely on the Griffins playoffs, what he does during yep. that, his summer of development, mm -hmm. to see if he'd start the Red yeah. Wings. I don't know. So many guys, they can do really, really well. And, I mean, uh, Turner Elson is a good example of this. Um, he's never played the Red Wings at the NHL level. But he was one of those guys that he had a phenomenal season, and then he finally had a healthy, consistent, strong summer, yeah. and he's come out with his best season ever. So Zadina's going to be needing to look at that, having, of course, the grueling task of pro playoffs, but on top of that, having an outstanding summer where he's developing, he's eating right, his workouts are on, like he's has the same intensity and every workout. you know what and i'm sure he's got that work yeah. ethic i guarantee he's got that work yeah. ethic and so it is up to him and it's up to mm -hmm. coaches and um so far in 45 games with the griffins he has 31 points and then two points mm -hmm. with six he was kind of off to in our previous video too if you haven't checked it out go ahead we talked about if we thought he was ready for the nhl i still at this level uh, at this time i don't think he's ready for it full time yeah, um, not, not quite not quite but i'm he's, glad he's up yeah. i'm glad he's getting that chance. he's making He's made those steps, though, where I think he's, almost, he's he's finding his groove, at least at the AHL. So it'll just be a little bit of time for him to find at the NHL. And it might be a similar thing where it takes a couple months for him to really find his mojo there. So yeah, he, could, he could do it. He's, he's proven that sure. at the AHL level he can handle it. I, I have an step. immense amount of respect for all these guys who can go from league to league and <laughs> work as hard as they do. It's not just on ice. It's everything. It's your mental. Mm -hmm. It's your how you eat. Like you said, it's your yeah. workouts. It's it's so much. They're to be meticulous a with how they train and develop, and they know their entire career. I know Zadina for sure, and all these other young kids. Their entire career could be, you know, made or broken in a bad summer. So if they've got a crappy summer training, they come to training camp and they just suck, or they're off their game. The staff notices that. You know, we're there every year in Traverse City, and those staff they watch very closely. So if you don't right. perform at the level they expect you to there. How are they going to trust you? Well, let's talk about um, another guy who could come back for um, the playoffs in Afghanistan, Spechnikov, <sighs> who has been skating. Um, he yep. is an in or he's how do they put that? On it was pre it was preseason pre injury prospects. reserve is what yeah. they have it listed. As. So he had surgery, um, and so now he's with the or he's on injury reserve still, but he's been skating. Um, so I'm thinking that he would probably be signed to the Griffins mm -hmm. um, for rehab for some rehab. And I would be so excited to see him back. <laughs> I'd be thrilled. He, I think he would probably be more excited than anybody just, just to be to back. Play, yeah. yeah, it would be great to see him there. And he's such he's a contributor. Mm -hmm. He's um, a great guy to have in the locker room. He's he was integral into our um, 2017 win. Yeah, yeah for um, sure. He did so much, and I think he's just got a great future ahead of him. I think with him too, I, the the healthy competition with his brother. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's his good. brother Andre Svechnikov plays for the Carolina Hurricanes. Yep. He They're was fighting for a wild round, card right now. First round draft pick. So yeah, but Gino, he's 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 got the ethic. We've seen him have his like I think it was his second season. He really it was not a good season for him. He beat himself up mentally, and I think now that. He's skating again. He's just thankful he can skate again. I think that's going to be a huge difference maker when he comes into the season, when he finally sure. gets back on the ice. And I think with, with Grand Rapids, they love him there. And that's a huge confidence booster for same, him. Same with Marty Furk. Um, yeah. Marty Furk, him coming back had to have been, I mean, I can't, 
Of, of course, it's going to be disappointing because you were on the Red Wings, you're NHL, and he's been back and forth, AHL, yeah. NHL, AHL. Um, but the one thing is he gets that puck and all the fans know what he's going to do. All yeah. the fans want to see his shot. Mm -hmm. All Ray the went off the him. post last night in Milwaukee. Yeah. Oh, man, it's painful. But sometimes. anyway, um, <laughs> with same thing with Svechnikov. If any of the fans see that familiar jersey, mm -hmm. they will die. Oh, yeah. It will be amazing. And he his disposition, I think he needs that encouragement to to really build his confidence and after being gone for the entire season it's going to be grueling to get back on the ice especially at the playoff times it's it's going to be hard and I think what the Red Wings are probably going to run into come next season though too we're right now the Griffins have a veteran issue we're benching two veterans every night because we have too many um so what they're going to have if you know once the Wings don't make the playoffs if all these guys get sent back coach Simon and staff are going to have to really 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 dig in to figure out who they're benching and scratching think, every um, night. It's going to be, it's going to be difficult because some of these guys might not even get as much. Last night they, um, they played Milwaukee. We watched it. What get watch AHL.com. <laughs> We're not sponsored or anything, no. but that site, you get to watch away games and you get to listen to Bob Kayser. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. But we were watching them play Milwaukee and they had, I think it was one of the best games as far as consistent effort and um, poise yeah. throughout the, they shut them out. So for nothing, um, rebar, Patrick mm -hmm. rebar was in goal. It's a um, second shutout of the season. It's a, it's amazing. And I think mm -hmm. Simon, and I don't think he changed lines much at all last night. No. I think his lines, no. they stuck last well, night. Well, they, they played smart. They yeah. played as a team consistently, and they fought hard. And that's what with these guys coming back. And I know Chalowski is learning as yeah. now being part of the Griffins. He hasn't trained with them all season long, so he's now figuring out where he fits in there. And I think that's going to be huge defensively, being with guys like McElrath. And even um, another guy that's really sticking out, too, is Javonna Smith. Yes. He's, I mean, he goes back and forth. He's had his moments where you're like, yeah, what are you doing? But he's, I think, become a very smart player in last night's game was, and he's, he's a few seasons out from the Red Wings. It's going to be at least two or three, I would say. But some of those guys, like these well, younger guys are yeah. playing with him now. We, we've talked about him before. Mm -hmm. um, he really started to mature, I would say, this past training camp. Um, and his board play has yeah. improved so much. I mean, even last night, he's got incredible instincts on the boards, mm -hmm. um, and he's getting goals. He's getting points. Yeah. Points are coming. He's driving. He's, yeah, he's and not he's just not, trying to He's not pass. quick he's, to throw yeah. gloves down, but he's going to be a little bit of an instigator, but it's good because <laughs> they instigate him because hockey's a big oh, mental they get game, on too. Him so bad. Yeah, they know he's got game. a hot temper, so they try to get sure. under his skin. But um, going into Calder Cup playoffs, so we're looking at potentially having Ronick down. Yep. We're going to have Chalowski. We're going to have Ferk. We're in, well, we will have Ronick down. Yeah. But, um, so Ronick, Jalowski, Ferk, and Zadina. And then perhaps Rasmussen. Don't really know where he's going to be. Hopefully Gino. Don't really know yeah. what he's going to I mean, he's like two or three weeks out yet. But, I mean, we have such a chance. And right now we're second in the Central Division. We've got 74 points. One point ahead of us. Oh, we've got 76 points. Cheat sheet. <laughs> 76 <laughs> points. Chicago's got 77 points. Um, and the Wolves, man. They've got they've got a team this year. They do. They have a team they, every year. I mean, they're they're a good team. They are. They're a they pain are. to play. So now, good the job. Wolves, correct me. The Wolves are Vegas's. They are Vegas's Vegas farm Golden team. Golden Knights farm team. Yeah, they've got some very good players. Yeah. So I'm thinking the the firepower that we're going to have coming mm -hmm. back to us, the chemistry that this team has now created. I think we're going to mm -hmm. have a, a deep playoff run this year. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just it's going to be real good, especially with all our veterans. Yeah. It's going to be hard, though, too. I mean, I feel for Coach Easy, Simon yeah. just because of how many different guys are coming back. And, I mean, let us know your opinion, though, too, because, I mean, with Ronick, obviously, he's going to get in the lineup every single night. I, yeah. So that's almost for sure. But with the other guys, too, you're having to swap those out. Then you do have the veteran issue because Ferk is technically a veteran. So he's probably going to get benched a couple we times. We just heard that Ronick played 28 minutes <laughs> in the – what and game was that? Against Tampa, maybe? Uh, no, it was against Colorado. It's 28, 28 minutes. It's amazing. That's, that's nuts for a defenseman, that's for anybody. That's trust right there. The coach yeah. trusts you. But, yeah, so let us know what you think. Um, watch – get – watch AHL.com. Again, we're not sponsored. Seriously, though, watch these playoffs. Minor league playoffs are amazing as well as NHL playoffs. Yeah. It's like, okay, so the Red Wings aren't going to make it this year. Watch our young guys. Watch the guys that are going to oh, yeah. be and up. There's, there's, I know Zadina is doing a great job, but there's so many others that, I mean, you've got Dom Turgeon, who's in his last year of development, Axel Holmstrom, last year of development, Billy Sarri in his second year, Joe Hickes is in his final year. The veterans, we talk about them all there's the time. There's so many. I mean, see, any of our videos on our channel, there's, you know, Dylan McElrath, there's yes. Joe Hickes is kind of, he's kind of veteran now. I mean, he's 
still he, uh, he's he in acts like he's been in the league for 15 years. Brian Lashoff, I mean, mm-hmm. elite players. Mm-hmm. They are elite players. Mm-hmm. Even guys All like around um, the league, like Chris Terry, Carter Camper, they've pretty much accepted that you know their their NHL time is probably done. But those guys are really going to help drive these younger guys, and they are the veterans. They're leading them, but they but make what's, way. For what's these the guys main thing though? Do. The main thing is the love of the game. Yep. You know, and I think that's just. It's so huge, and you can tell. I mean, and even if you're watching the AHL, you can watch the other teams too. If I'm, I'm like totally <laughs> selling this, this is, to you. This, well, and this is like completely off notes. But you can get a day pass, and you can watch any game from that day. So you can watch we any do. AHL. Any One's team. an intermission. You just go to the next one. But that's all to say that yeah. you got to see where these guys come mm-hmm. from, and that's why we cover we cover mm-hmm. the Muskegon Lumberjacks too. Mm-hmm. Cover it because. That's where they come mm-hmm. from. I think it's quick to form an opinion, too, if you only focus on the NHL. I know a lot of people know that the AHL teams exist, but not many of them actually pay attention to them. Where it, when these guys get pulled up to the NHL, everyone's quick to go, oh, they suck. They're getting six minutes a night. Why do we even have that guy? He's terrible, blah, 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 blah. Watch them at the AHL. You can see what they can do, and it does take a little bit. Each of them got to grow at their own pace, yeah. and they have to be challenged. Just a little bit of a rant. So it was definitely a rant. But, um, it's Thanks our, for everyone joining us. Yeah, Appreciate so it. Much. It's our passion, though. Youth hockey and um, minor league hockey is, is our passion. We love the NHL, and we love the Red Wings mm-hmm. um, and all that they're doing. But these guys, there, it's where our heart is. You it, know, yeah. This development, this um, – so it really hits. And home as for us, for as sure. the playoffs get closer, obviously we're we're gonna try to do a lot more of these live videos too because we want it to be interactive. Hey, we want it yeah. to, to and be hey, live. we're we're at every game. <laughs> Come so, say hey. Um, we're at every home game. So if you've got well more more so like if you have something you want to talk about, if you're like yeah. hey, what do you see? Um, we want to know. We want to yeah, know what you think for and sure. what you want to know because we want to talk hockey. <laughs> no one else we know likes to talk hockey. It's That's just, why we talk just us. <laughs> Uh, no, we have friends that are joining us. Hi. Um, um, yes. But when the, as the playoffs are coming, we're going to do a lot more of this. But also keep an eye on um, as development camp comes up after the draft. The draft is a big deal, obviously, but don't just focus on the draft. Watch what happens afterwards. Development, training camp, the prospect tournament. We're at the training camp and prospect tournament every year. So also quick thing. Hmm. Um, we will what? we do Muskegon Lumberjacks yes. coverage as well. They are they're they've clinched a spot. Um, they've got first team in the so, USHL to do it. So many promising kids on their team. Last season we saw four of the guys from the Lumberjacks yep. get drafted. Um, four out of the five possible. I mean, it's am- it's so rewarding to cover youth hockey because yeah. you see him grow so much yeah and some of these kids this season we're gonna see them at the ahl level they're good enough to we're not just with muskegon but with the other teams too and that's why you have to focus on these leagues because you see the kids at the draft and then no one pays attention to them until they hit the nhl and they don't see what they've been doing like joe yeah. valena yeah the kid's tearing it up well we um the griffins have this magazine writer mark newman did a story, did a story on <laughs> Philip Sedina. And it really opened my eyes to, again, because I, I even have to be reminded of this, mm-hmm. how much goes into being a professional athlete. Yeah. From the, I mean, they're the kid. And was, considering all professional well, athletes, hockey is actually pretty underpaid. Well, they're they're the kid working out instead of hanging out with friends or, yeah. you know, whatever. So we're ranting again. But anyway, <laughs> so we'll see you guys um, again next time. We'll probably do this a few more times. And again, yeah. if you have any questions or you want to hear about anything specific, mm-hmm. I'm Janae. I'm She's Rachel. Rachel. I take photos. She writes. I do. We both talk Go about to you. the website, accesshockeymi.com. Sign up for the newsletter. We are doing a draft watch profile every single week. So kind of the lesser known dudes in the draft that you should be aware of that yeah. they're probably going to go higher than what people expect we're doing that um go to the hockey writers they cover all sorts mm-hmm. of um nhl hockey, hockey. Is all <laughs> nhl station or nhl teams yep um and i contribute photos to them as and well. i write for them as well so, um wings nation they cover the red wings yep uh, just right our them. site you take pictures for them we're kind of all over the place with the hockey we're there but just <laughs> just follow us and, and, oh, and buy us howies in. oh yeah also you get a coupon get access I think there's more to it. We'll link it or something. It's because there's if you sign up for the email, it'll be in there. It's somewhere. more that hockey's cool. So yeah, just, uh, their tape actually stuff. is really good at sealing up cracks in windows too. <laughs> so just like, right. well, we better go. <laughs> All <laughs> right, guys, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. <laughs> Do yeah. End it. <laughs>